Hey everyone, it's Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at altcoins because there are five altcoins specifically that have huge potential for 2022. And if you haven't already looked into these or at least dollar cost averaged in a little bit in some of these, you're going to be missing out quite a bit. So I do want to say before we get started, I'm not a financial advisor, but Bitcoin is down and the altcoins are up. So one thing we're going to be continuing to see is altcoins pick up the pace. We're going to see a huge recovery in many, many altcoins in the next couple of months. And I want to be here to keep you guys up to date through it all. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at five altcoins specifically that have huge potential in 2022. Before we do so though, guys, we're gonna jump over to the top five crypto trends to look for in 2022 and beyond. So this is a great article 22 hours ago talking about five different categories in crypto to look for. And when you're looking for an altcoin, you're gonna be looking for ones with high use case, high utility, high functionality, and obviously tons of features. So here we go to start us off with Metaverse. Metaverse obviously being a very, very big topic in today's world. I think we're going to continue to see this topic rise in interest over the next three to five years. Maybe not a huge player in this bull run. However, next bull run is going to be too expensive, to, really too expensive, let's be honest, to buy some of these Metaverse coins and make that 10 to 20x. So buying some now, holding them three to five to even 10 years, you're going to make some good profits on things like most likely Sandbox, Decentraland potentially. Uh, those are going to be coins that definitely do well. We're also going to take a look at NFTs. So the NFT sector, main trend since 2021. We're going to continue to see that hype in 2022 and 2023. So NFT is going to be here to stay. That is my opinion, obviously. DeFi as well as the third spot um, on this really top five categories list. We also have the growing institutional adoption. So we're going to continue to see that adoption rise. Companies like Grayscale and MicroStrategy have started offering custody, uh, really services that have attracted investors. So we're continuing to see new investors take really spots in the crypto space. So that's huge to see. Also stable coins and CBDCs. We're not going to jump too much into those because the whole focus today is kind of altcoins, low market cap altcoins for the most part. So I want to jump back over to Coinbase. We're going to jump into, like I said, five coins that have huge potential in 2022. I'm going to start us off with what I would believe to be a very, very obvious one. And that's going to be the, well, let me see actually here. There it is. Polkadot. Polkadot. Right now in the last 24 hours alone. We're actually seeing a 2.27% increase while we see Bitcoin kind of on a decrease or a decline. So Polkadot's got a lot of strength right now. There's parachain auctions coming out, obviously, monthly. We're seeing a lot of great things, updates, um, just really great, great things across the board for Polkadot. The utility that it does provide to the space, obviously, is going to be one of the big reasons I am a fan of Polkadot. Also, the 12 to 14% APY staking that you can get. Why not take advantage of some of the highest potential staking in the space when it comes to high market cap coins? And this one's at a $22.2 billion market cap. Easily could see this one hit ahead, really heading to $50 to $60 billion in market cap well within this next bull run. So definitely one to watch out. Definitely a very decent market uh, really price point right now because $22.50, yeah, we could go back below $20. We could see a setback or you know a pullback on the market, but... What I will say is dollar cost averaging in, you're not going to have much risk involved when it comes to buying that you know, exact low or exact high. So keep that in mind. That's why a lot of people are dollar cost averaging. It just makes perfect sense. That's why I always talk about it here on the channel. As we jump into the next coin, that's just an obvious coin in my opinion, but I want to jump into another obvious coin. A lot of you guys have heard of Chainlink. Well, Chainlink has one of the best and really only Oracle solutions in the space. It's up 3.51% in the last 24 hours. In the last week, 11% in the last month, 20%. However, it's nowhere near where I believe this coin deserves to be. It uh, right now at a market cap of $8.2 billion, just insanely, insanely low for what this coin all does. It really connects the crypto space all together. And it's basically the glue that holds the crypto space together. And I think we're going to continue to see this one rise over the next couple of bull runs. This one's going to be a huge, huge gainer. And I'm talking $2,000, $3,000 well within the next couple of bull runs. I'm saying three to four bull runs. Most likely we'll see a $2,000 chain link. And I know that's a very big high, high price point. But like I said, guys, you guys look at these white papers for chain link. You look at some of the things that they're doing. Um, just an obvious reason to get involved now and stay involved until it's at a much 
higher price. I want to jump though into another coin. So we talked about Polkadot, we talked about Chainlink. What else is there in this space? So Cardano is one of those coins I'm kind of iffy on. Here's the big thing with Cardano, we're seeing a dollar twenty one. The all time high push was up to three dollars and ten cents September first at eight p.m. So a dollar twenty one is actually a very very good price point. The big thing to note is we have upgrades coming. The Hydra upgrade this summer. We have a lot of great things going on with Charles Hoskinson himself. So I do think we're going to see this coin continue to rise easily above two dollars within the next three to four months. And then with that push, I do think we could get back to an all time high before the end of this year if we do get back into a full throttle bull market with the Hydra upgrade. And like I said, a lot of great updates coming to Cardano. I think this coin specifically could see a potential three to four X this bull run alone. So definitely a coin to look into just because, you know, we are getting passive income potential here as well uh, with that four to five percent APY. I also want to say, guys, with Chainlink, they are getting staking this year. That's that's one of the big things everybody gets kind of forgets about. I feel like nobody remembers. You can buy Chainlink now at a fairly low price point and you can also stake it very, very soon this year. So that's going to be exciting stuff. Uh, definitely something I'm going to jump on board with for sure. And a lot of you guys should probably take advantage of as well. So if we jump back, by the way, guys, sorry about my voice. It's like, uh, it's kind of pretty much a dead voice right now. It's barely struggling to stay alive, but we're going to definitely continue to make videos today. So hopefully you guys can bear with me here today. Uh, as we continue on though, there's two more coins I want to jump into. We jump down to page two. It's been doing insanely, insanely well in the last couple of days. I made a video on it yesterday. It's VeChain. VeChain is down in the last 24 hours, just 0.49%. But if you look at the last week, a 44% increase. Last month, a 71 to 72% increase. VeChain is showing its strength again. It's showing that, you know, there is so much potential behind this price. And I think a lot of people don't realize all the utility and use cases that really come out of VeChain. They have so many different things that they're doing. Food traceability, one of the biggest things. But, you know, they have so much, like I said, that they're really trying to accomplish and trying to, you know, improve on when it comes to really a global scale. So $5.4 billion market cap could easily be seeing a 15 to $25 billion market cap by the end of this year if we keep this bull market run up. I do want to jump over to our last coin, but before we do so, we do have a Cointelegraph article here, top five cryptocurrencies to watch this week, BTC, ADA, AXS, LINK, and FTT. So may start a strong recovery in the next few days if BTC holds the $45,000 level as support. We have seen that level support. We have seen the pump. So this was actually out March 27th. So it all comes down to BTC right now with the market. We all, we all know this, um, but the big thing to note is Link has been doing very well. A lot of people are watching it. AXS, Axie Infinity, something to pretty much stay away from, in my opinion. Uh, we also have Cardano, ADA. We talked about that one. FTT is a great coin to get into, uh, just not maybe in my top five. You could talk about potentially um, you know, getting into FTT because it's definitely not a bad long-term gain. I think we're going to see a two to three X this bull run at the very least, potentially more, but it's not going to be one that's making you four to five to six to seven, even 10 X. So keep that in mind. It's got a fairly high market cap right now, as well as it just being an exchange token in a way. Um, if you look right here, we are looking at FTT at a $7 billion market cap at the moment. I do want to jump into one more thing before we talk about that coin number five as well, because this coin number five could be a game changer for you. But before we jump into it, if I can... Looks like I kind of mistyped on the old keyboard there, but we got BlockFi coming up. So you can actually buy, sell, and earn cryptocurrency with BlockFi. The BlockFi Rewards credit card lets you earn up to 3.5% back in crypto on every purchase. Over $15 million in crypto paid in rewards to date. And there's also no annual fees. So if you guys want to take advantage of this BlockFi uh, Rewards credit card and get that portfolio started very, very easily, jump down into the description of today's video. Use that BlockFi link. It'll help you get $250 worth of Bitcoin when you start out and also help me on this channel. So thank you guys again for that support. As we jump back, we're going to take a look at one more coin very quickly because we usually try to stay between uh, about eight minutes typically on these videos, but sorry about that. We're going over about 10 minutes, most likely by the end of this one. Um, I do want to take a look though, like I said, at one more coin and we talked about metaverses, right? My favorite in the space right now with what really is coming for these metaverses Decentraland and Sandbox, obviously the two winners at the moment. Sandbox being 
probably one of my favorites. Uh, we see a 4.75% increase in the last 24 hours. If we take a look at the last week, we're seeing a 9 to 10% increase. In the last month, a 17% increase. We can see that we had a low about 270, 269, and we saw the all-time high around that, if I can get to it, what, a 743, about $8, basically, very close to $8. We are now half that, and I think we are going to see a huge potential, like I said, for Metaverse coins to easily see a 2 to 3 to 4 or 5x in the next 3 to 5 years. It really doesn't even depend on what Metaverse coin you have because there's going to be so much hype surrounding the term Metaverse, the category Metaverse, that you're going to see these coins just pump for literally no reason. If these have no reason that they're going to you know survive in 10 to 20 years you think sandbox is going to be dead it really doesn't matter three to five years from now a lot of these metaverse coins are going to continue to climb just because of the term and the category of metaverse so the metaverse space like i said it's going to continue to get more money pumped into it it's an obvious choice in my opinion to jump at least into one or two metaverses in the space just to kind of throw a little bit of money in there because we all know the future of metaverse is going to continue to grow so thank you guys again for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, let me know in the comment section of today's YouTube video. Make sure to like the video, by the way. It helps support the channel quite a bit. Subscribe to the channel and then jump over to Twitter. If you guys didn't know, we pretty much tweet out a lot actually on crypto. So Crypto Profit YT, um, I actually haven't tweeted out a lot. I shouldn't say tweet out a lot. I tweet out a lot of important stuff typically. So I try to keep it to about a tweet every day or two. So something you guys should be doing, staying up to date with crypto. I'll see you guys all in the next one.